you have to say it was a big plus. It sure was. And it's a Friday night, so we've got a Texaco Star of the Week. And our choice for that, Reggie Lewis, who both on the offensive and defensive end was a spark for the Celtics tonight. Well, he just turned into a super sensational uh, defensive player as well as making shots like this. Uh, when he gets out in the open court, he's going to have two, three guys jumping at him. Even if he doesn't make the shot, more often than not, that's going to allow somebody else a good shot at, at an offensive rebound. So uh, I don't know why everybody gets upset when they say Reggie takes bad shots. It's usually because there's two, three guys hanging on him. And if he misses it, so much the easier the rebound. So we will uh, we will see if we can get before we go off the air any word on Larry Bird, who again went down with a left ankle sprain and did not play in the fourth quarter. We'll have some stats and a final thoughts on this game when we return to the Garden in just a minute. Sports Channel America presents a Super Saturday. First at noon Eastern, the Bulldogs of Drake take on the Shockers of Wichita State. Then at 2 Eastern, the Evansville Aces collide with the Sycamores of Indiana State. At 8 Eastern, the top two teams in the Adams Division duke it out when Pierre Turgeon and Buffalo rattle their sabers in Montreal in this battle with the Canadiens. And at 10.30 Eastern, Digger Phelps and the Fighting Irish clash with the Trojans. It's Notre Dame versus USC. Sunday, January 14th, America's Going Aces. Sports play-by-play -play announcer, the nominee, Tucker from three. Yes! And out front the prop, score! Right hand, who knows in serious trouble? There's Newberry! Touchdown! What a shot! Who will be honored as the year's best on cable? The 11th Annual Ace Award, live on 12 cable networks. Sunday, January 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern. But I say this, the most difficult thing to do in sports, I would offer, is to strike a baseball. This guy, Boggs, is the best hitter in 50 years. Oh, come on. I, mean, I don't want Boggs. I know that I'm going to get bombed with letters because I'm going to tell you that I like Bill Lamb. Very good player. This is how high he gets on his jump shot. In fact, a lot of times his toe doesn't even leave well, the ground. Well, what's different? All right, gentlemen, we're ready to roll. 114 to 104. Again, the final score here at the Garden. A nine-point win for the Los Angeles Clippers. We talked a lot before the game how this was not the Clipper team of old. This is a brand-new Clipper team, and where uh, well, they performed like it tonight. And our choice for player of the game is standing by downstairs right now. And that, of course, was Danny Manning, who had such an outstanding effort in the ball game tonight. Danny, Mike Gorman, and Tom Heinsohn upstairs. Uh, first off, congratulations on your effort, but I know more importantly for you in the club, a road win like this has to do wonders for you guys. Oh, it sure does. You know, we uh, we started off the road trip in Minnesota, and we pulled out a victory there. We went down to Detroit, and we were very competitive in the ball game, but we didn't do the little things that we did tonight, and therefore we couldn't come up with a victory. But tonight, everyone played hard, and things went our way, and uh, we were fortunate to come up with a victory because not many teams do here. Danny, I, I know basketball fans all around the country want to know, how's the leg, and how are you feeling? I feel really good. I'm very excited to be back out on the court. Uh, and, uh, you know, anytime I can go out on the court, I just want to go out and play hard and just thank the Lord that I'm playing again. You know, you, you, Danny, just tell me, Heinsohn, you're playing like uh, three positions really tonight. You played a little bit of center, you played a little bit of uh, power forward, you played a little bit of quick forward, and sometimes you were running the middle of the fast break. Uh, quite a versatile game. What, what's the, your favorite position to play on the court? Well, uh, it just depends. If I think if I have a big man on me my size, I would like to take him out on the perimeter and use my quickness. If I have a smaller player on me, I'd like to take him inside into the post. But the thing that helps me out so much is our team is very versatile. We have a lot of the guys that can do a lot of things, and that's a very helpful out on the court. I don't, how, where, how far do you think your ball club can go before the end of this season? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I think we just have to go out, and uh, rule number one for us is be competitive night in and night out. And once we take care of that, I think things will start becoming a little bit better in our, in our win, wins and losses. Danny, we don't get a chance to see you all that much and your team play all that much, but uh, 
Uh, unlike a lot of Clipper teams we've seen in the past, it seems this team has uh, started to form it, its own kind of identity. Is that true? I think so. I think with the acquisition of Ron Harper, I think all the young talent we have on this team, everyone is starting to realize that in order for us to win games, we have to play together like all the great teams do in this league. And uh, once we start doing that, you know, we're going to be a very competitive ball club. Well, Danny, just a great effort tonight. Uh, and I got to say, now I'm glad we don't see you more than once a year. But uh, best of luck now that you head back on the road and don't play the Celtics again. All right. Thank you. All right. Danny Manning, our post game guest and an outstanding effort uh, by that youngster and, and you look at Charles Smith you look at Ron Harper who's just a kid and uh, this is a team that everybody's under about the age of 26 and uh, a <laughs> nice looking club yes it is it's got a lot of offense it's got a lot of mobility and uh, I, I think Grant is going to be a, a key player for them because um, he's not a spectacular player in the scheme of things but boy he distributes the ball very nicely uh, reads the defenses, uh, reads situations pretty well for a second-year player who's supposed to get the ball in what situation. And uh, uh, I think they're going to, before the end of the year, they're going to be saying, hey, this is a club like Cleveland was a couple of years ago. Watch out next season. Yeah, but if Benoit comes every night to play, they can make some noise around the league. Let's take a look at the stats from tonight's game. Again, the Clippers came in and played a very solid game here, Tom. 43 of 77, 56 percent. They... Uh, 28 of 43 attempts at the free throw line, just 19 from the Celtics there. Your thoughts on that? Well, I, I thought that was grossly unfair, and I didn't really comment on an awful lot about it, but uh, for the Celtics to go until the last four minutes of the first half and only uh, then get to the free throw line and end up with a six for the half was kind of ludicrous to me as they were trying to pound the ball inside. So uh, I really can't understand that disparity. It shouldn't be like that. Harper with 28, Manning with 26 to lead the way. Smith, the big fourth quarter to end up with 17, Grant 16. Some good balance right down the line for that club. And the Celtics with six players and double figures tonight. And Joe Klein, another nice effort off the bench with eight, but it just was not enough. You see Larry Bird down there with 12. And again, no room yet, or no word yet from the locker room about the status of Larry Bird's sprained ankle. So we'll just have to go, and the Celtics uh, have a game coming up tomorrow night. That could be costly. Well, without Larry Bird and his outside shooting ability and, uh, and the fact that he's a great player, uh, this club uh, really can have some problems. And even though he's not 100%, uh, there are nights when he takes the game over when they need the game to be taken over, as he did on the road a couple of times. So, And this was a game that uh, they probably could have used a little help from Larry. Next Celtic game is coming up tomorrow night as the Celtics will take on the Washington Bullets. And you can catch that game with Mike Crispino and Bob Cousy on WLVI-TV, Channel 56, tomorrow night at 7.30. Tom and I will be back here at the Boston Garden. That will be coming up next Wednesday night when the Celtics take on the Detroit Pistons. We'll get to see the defending champion Pistons for the first time as they come into the Garden next Wednesday night. Busy week for the Celtics next week. They have the San Antonio Spurs and David Robinson coming on Friday. But first things first, the Pistons and the Celtics Wednesday night, January 10th at 7.15. College basketball is coming up next. Holy Cross will be taking on Iona. Once again, final score here from the Garden, 114-105. The Clippers win it. For Tom Heinz and I'm Mike Gorman. Good night, everybody. Celtics basketball on Sports Channel has been brought to you by Budweiser. We brew our fine quality beers to be enjoyed responsibly. Remember, no when to say when. By the New England Peugeot dealers. Get to know Peugeot. Nothing else feels like it. By Store 24. Some things in life you just gotta have. By your New England Jeep and Eagle dealers, where you can always expect the best. By True Value Hardware, your store of first choice by Texaco, star of the American Road.
I say this, the most difficult thing to do in sports, I would offer, is to strike a baseball. This guy, Boggs, is the best hitter in 50 years. Oh, come on. I, mean, I don't want Boggs. I know that I'm going to get bombed with letters because I'm going to tell you that I like Bill Lamb. Very good player. This is how high he gets on his jump shot. In fact, a lot of times his toe doesn't even leave well, the ground. Well, what's different? All right, gentlemen, we're ready to roll. Tuesdays, Sports Channel dazzles you with the latest in thoroughbred action nationwide on Inside Racing. Join Harvey Pack for the Week in Review, plus helpful hints on what's ahead. Inside Racing. Sports Channel is the authority on thoroughbred horse racing. Wednesday through Monday, thoroughbred action presents exclusive coverage from the major New York State tracks. Chart all the races here first on thoroughbred action.